Recently, I spent a few days with some of our priests and on one of the afternoons, we visited a lovely little church in a small hamlet town in Devon, Dodderscombe Lee. The church was dedicated to St Michael's and it has a remarkable set of stained glass windows which date from the 15th century. One of the most impressive is a window which depicts Christ in all his glory sitting on his throne in heaven with images of the seven sacraments around him. Jesus still manifests, even though he's sitting on his throne in glory, he manifests the wounds of his crucifixion, the wounds in his hands, his side and his feet. And from these blood lines flow to each of the images depicting one of the sacraments. From the nailed wound of Christ's hand in glory flows the bloodline leading to the Eucharist. It's a powerful image, this stained glass window, especially when one thinks that it dates from around 1450 and has survived the excesses of the Reformation destruction of such images. We are all learning to live with the ravages of this deadly virus. Thankfully, now we can celebrate Mass and the sacraments in our churches. Now is the time for us to return once more physically, if we are able, to the celebration of Mass on Sunday. Sunday is indeed Deus Domini, the Day of the Lord. When we come to Mass on Sunday, we experience that lifeblood which the Lord wants to give us from his glorified wounds. Being only virtually present is a poor substitute. Of course, the virtual means of communication will continue to be a valued service for those who are sick or those unable to come to church for whatever reason. On a Sunday. Our participation at broadcasted Masses was also essential at a time when there was no possibility of community celebrations. Yet no broadcast is comparable to personal participation and it cannot replace it. The Lord stresses this physical contact when he says in St John's Gospel, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. This physical contact which we have with the Lord at Mass is vital, indispensable, irreplaceable for us as Catholics. For this reason, the Bishops' Conference are offering a series of podcasts in these days which invite us to reflect carefully on our own situation. Let us look sensitively at what is possible for us in the circumstances of our lives. And if it is possible, let us return to being present physically at Sunday Mass we can do so safely. The Lord wants us to do so, so that we can encounter him fully in his glorious and risen body. Let us return to him. God bless you.